right, so we're over here at a Dollar Tree in West Hills, which is near Calabasas. So just trying my luck with some new stores. This one looks like a pretty big Dollar Tree. So let's go inside, see if they have any Dollar Blu-rays or DVDs. They're right here in the front. That's cool. You usually don't get them right in the front. Not where I'm from. Got one Blu-ray right there. A guy thing. I don't remember that one. That's an old one. I don't know people posting about that one. Oh, these are kind of old ones. They always have this one. So, Amber Heard. Never heard of that one. Alright, so... Got a lot that. I'm pretty old, I'm guessing. What an Amber Heard one. Oh, what's that? I think I've seen that one. That looks cool. I think I'd heard about that one. Oh wow, it's Resident Evil Vendetta? Okay, never seen that, but... I think I've heard of this one, this is Magnolia or Wogo. I'm interested in movies like this, so I'm gonna check this one out. Let's see, what else you got, what else you got? Ooh, from the producers of The Witch. I right, see Midnight, might have checked that one out. Okay. Check that one out. What is this? Real oh, okay, that was Planet of the Apes for a second. Bug? Okay, I don't know what that is. What in the world is that? Okay, so let's go next next one. Ooh. Monster Land. That looks like a cool ass cover. Let me know. Let me know if you guys have seen that one. It's a horror anthology. Oh, this looks like a kinda kinda like a goofy one. RLJ. Let's have some Smurfs, some Scooby-Doo. I've seen people posting about that one. And there is the Holy Grail, the best movie of all time. Angry Goes West, I always hear about this one, but I've seen it on Blu-ray, like in other stores. So, here's a sequel to Big Fat Liar. I'm not going with that one. What is this, Spider-Man? Spider-Man 3. Okay, yeah, that's Predestination. Oh, no. man, not sure what that is. Mm. Oh, what is this? Never seen this cover of the Terminator. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Fast Girls. Okay, it looks like a rollerball. Boone. Boone the Bounty Hunter? Oh, God. Like Dog the Bounty Hunter, maybe? Here's a TV show, The Mind of a Married Man. Perfect shark movie right there. So far... Nothing really too good other than a couple of those horror titles in my eyes. Stuff from the beginning. Another one of these caveats. I don't know what this is. I'm about to read what this is and then put it to the side. Oh god. Some weird like Vivica Fox movie? Clifton Powell? Jesus. That looks really low budget. That looks like a play almost. Yeah, I think it's a play actually. The cured. A unique take on the Walking Dead genre. Oh, okay, I might have to check that one out. Put that in mind. Okay, got Jack. Here's a Blu-ray. Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart. Oh, Search Party, which I just picked up. Haven't watched it. Jack and the Giant Slayer. Uh, I don't know too much about that. I'm actually going to probably check that one out. I always see this one. It's Daniel Radcliffe. My boy Jack. sure about this one here. Russell Crowe though, very good. I'll have to read that one. Alright, so we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Which one is that? Okay, I've seen that Battlestar Galactica Revolt. That looks like a, like a video game cover. That looks pretty kind of like insane. I might have to check that one out as well. And yeah, same old thing. Got one more Blu-ray. Oh, Bad Words. That one was actually a pretty funny one, but sad kind of in the end movie. Check that one out too. Okay, so I got lucky with a few titles. Let's go over to the next Dollar Tree. Alright, so next location Dollar Tree. I believe this is Canoga Park. And we're looking for Dollar Blu-rays and DVDs. Actually, they got a sign. Finally, they got some signs out here. So, 
Let's see, Dinotopia. Looking for that one, not. All right guys, so I'm doing some voiceover because it got a little crazy inside. But anyways, uh, this Frank movie looked pretty interesting and funny. It has Maggie Gyllenhaal. Uh, this Damascus cover I always see. This looks like, uh, I don't know what this is, a, a TV show or something. Possibly you got some older titles there. The Ottoman Lieutenant right there. Josh Hartnett, I think. Billionaire's Boy Club, I always see that a lot. Let me know what it's about. Tomorrow's, Tomorrow You're Gone. So William Dafoe right there, you get Steven Dorff. That one looks pretty cool, I'm putting that to the side. Now this girl is badass, and this one I have it on DVD as well, but I wanted to add it because it's a Blu-ray. That one looks like a documentary, not sure about that one. Atlas Shrugged, part two, not sure about that one as well. You get Entourage the movie, heard that was pretty bad. Kill Me Three Times, Simon Pegg. That one looks pretty cool actually. So I've read a little bit about this one. It looks like a, like a sly kind of comedy thriller. You got Frank again, as well as that uh, same documentary. Uh, two Days in New York, you get Julie Delpy and Chris Rock. Don't know too much about that one. I think it's a comedy romance. You get a couple of animated films, a western. These are all kind of falling over. You got Belko Experiment, Satisfaction Season 1. Uh, Richard Cabral, Khalil the Killer. Uh, I've seen that guy before in like a gangster movie, but I don't know 100% his work. So, uh, Treasure Island. You get uh, that syrup again with uh, Amber Heard. And you get a couple other ones, DVDs over here. You got Conan O'Brien, Can't Stop. That one I think is just like a documentary about when he left NBC. You get uh, Life Partners. Oh, you get uh, Jillian Jacobs, Adam Brody. Don't know too much about that. Looks like a little quirky comedy maybe. You get a fitness DVD as well as that Big Fat Liar again. And uh, just a couple of older titles that we've seen a lot of. Uh, Puerto Ricans in Paris. I always used to say that one all the time, too. Yeah, so that one was a hit, too. I got five more Blu-rays, so I'm going to go over what I found in a second. We're actually going to hit up a uh, 99 cent store and uh, see if possibly we can find some other, you know, little pickups. All right, so we're stopping over here at 99 cent store. I had to throw my mask because this lady went ham on me for not having my mask. Okay, now I'm having a hard time trying to find these. This is a huge-ass 99 cent store. <sighs> They're usually around this toy section too, so. All right, well, I'm gonna keep looking. Got my fingers crossed. All right guys, so I gotta do another voiceover because there's a lot of people. So this section right here was actually right in the front of the store. And as you guys can see, it said Blu-rays and DVDs were $2. So they're not even giving any discounts on DVDs, but this Inherent Vice right here, I finally found on Blu-ray. It was a movie I wanted to check out, but it was always on DVD. Now they had an actual big selection right here, but it was all mixed in. You have some Spider-Man animated films. You have some Batman animated films. Uh, you have Angelina Jolie Salt, just a bunch of random ones. This one right here, I had no clue about kicks, so I had to look that one up, but it seemed pretty interesting. I mean, about a kid who is like looking for some kind of sneakers that get stolen, and it has Mahershala Ali. I couldn't believe that right there, so that's an awesome one. It also has a slip cover, and uh, yeah, you just get a bunch of oh, randomness in it. this pile, as you guys can see. Yeah. I'll put this one to the side. You can see Smurfs right there, more Spider Man. Uh, this one right oh, here, Domain, I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like a sci-fi, has a slipcover as well. Uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have seen that one in the comments below. You get a three-pack of the Munster family, you get that Chillerama, you guys have seen that one all the time. I don't know if that one ever got a Blu-ray release title, but that one's actually a pretty funny anthology film. Guys, you get more animated films, you get some Superman right there superheroes you get some more scooby-doo this one right here you get the spy i never saw this one let me know in the comments below if it was good all you gotta do is dig let's see if we can dig and move all these to the side bed because this is blu-ray central down here oh, they even have the chucky call the chucky oh, look at all those blu -rays. oh my god but it did say that the blu-rays were two dollars though so that's the only thing about sometimes these uh Look at that Hitchcock. So I'm going to go through all these and show you guys my pickups in a second. Alright guys, so I think I got more than what I kind of was hoping for. I mean, it's always good to find a great deal. I'm not going to show you what I had, what I got yet, but um, yeah, came up. I have an addiction. Let's go over them right now. Alright, so I lied guys. One more Dollar Tree we found. And they closed in 10 minutes, so the hunt is on. So this looks like... Maybe one of the ones that has all the old things, all the old products. Okay, high voltage, that's a newer one. One that I haven't seen in a while. Oh, 
have not seen this one, Altered Scape 2 pack as well, so it might have had a couple of new additions in this, so let's see if we can go through. It's a lot of DVDs, a lot of DVDs, so clear this out to make some good room, good room. Um, there we go. Looks like they do have a couple of Blu-rays right here, the Valley of Eli. Uh, the Almighty Johnsons, have you guys seen that one? Season 1, sci-fi? Never heard of that. Revolt, I picked up already. Oh, looks like there's a couple more Blu-rays. I only got 10 minutes and they're kicking me out. Whoa, the Gate of the Ghost. Okay, this looks like some Magnet release or, yep. Magnet Kung Fu release. Um, I'm not interested in that, but let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go for the Blu ray. Baby. Oh, this is the one I wanted. This is the one I saw someone have it on their channel. I think D13U. This is a sequel to D13, which is fantastic. Same guys, I believe. Never saw it. It's like these parkour guys. This is so cool. Okay, I'm definitely getting this one. Putting that to the side. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are going fast, baby. We are going fast. They have a couple of couple of those already. I'm just trying to get around there. Exorcist is the one that I heard that a lot of people were picking up. Um, let's see, another one of those Battlestar Galacticas. Ooh, I'm going against the What? Vampire Hunter 3D baby. Uh man, I never heard I've never seen that here, but seen that before. Oh man, this one has a lot of Blu-rays. They re-upped. Okay, two lovers. That's one that I still want to see, but I have it in DVD. I'm thinking I'm going to pick this one up because it's just Blu-ray. And it's like a romantic, uh, kind of romantic movie. Compliance. Now, this one I hear so many good things about. Uh, I forget the director, but um, he was in something that I just saw. Literally just saw. I might have to pick that one up. Um... Oh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Not really interested in that, but let's see. Come on, we're going over. We're going over. We got this. We got this. Checkpoint. What the heck is this? Is that the Goldberg guy? No, we're not doing that. Um, da -da -da -da. There's so many. I'm going to have to move some things out. Man, so I just picked up the cure from the other uh, Dollar Tree, and damn, this one comes with a slip cover. Fudge, man. Doesn't, don't you hate when that happens? So you got a lot of cool DVDs in here. Well, I think they're cool. I don't know. The covers look really cool, but you never know. The hell is this? Seven Guardians of the Two. That's the Guardians of the Galaxy font. Yeah, they're ripping off people. What? Ah, oh, it doesn't look like anything too crazy. What is this hijacking? Yeah, I think that might be it. All right, so that's five more to add to the bunch, you guys. So I'll go over all this in a second. All right, guys, so I am back home with all my pickups, and let me tell you, I got 25 movies, DVDs, and Blu-rays. The majority of them are Blu-rays, and it's a bigger haul than I got last time, like just a few days ago, man, and I am so excited because a lot of these were for $1, but I also did pick up a few at the 99 cent store and make sure you guys check out those. So I did go out of town. I went more in the LA, Los Angeles, California area, which is about half an hour away from me. So I'm really close to a lot of these stores, but make sure you guys are hitting up the Dollar Trees, the big lots, the 99 cent stores. You guys are going to get some good deals and they are sealed. So before we get into everything, guys, if you do appreciate this physical media collecting hunting that I'm doing all the time, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe and bell notification for more. So first off, let's get into the DVDs. Now, these are DVDs from the Dollar Tree. Now, I'm going to kind of categorize this in Dollar Tree and then also 99 cent store because 99 cent store is obviously charging a little more. So let's get into the first one that I got from the Dollar Tree, which is a DVD. And I'm so glad I got it because I saw a lot of you hunters out there picking this one up. It is the Ben Stiller show and I am so damn excited. I believe it's Bob Odenkirk right there. Uh, you get, I think it's Janine Garofalo. Uh, you get, uh, what's his name? Andy Dick and you get Ben Stiller. 
Stiller. I'm sure there's a lot of people in there uh, as well. You get oh, this is created by Ben Stiller and Judd Apatow. And oh my God. Uh, David Cross is in here as well. Robert Cohen, uh, Brent Forrester, Dan Danny Gould, uh, Dana Gould, I'm sorry. Um, you get so many people. It also says there's some sketch parodies from Sarah Jessica Parker, Dennis Miller, Flea from, uh, what's that? Uh, that's Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Gary Shandling, uh, Susan Anton, and many, many more. So it was kind of like a variety, like a sketch show, like a Dave Chappelle type of deal. So that was awesome that I picked that one up. Two disc DVD set. I think that might've been all the episodes because I think it was only one season or so. Um, the next is uh, Ellen Page in The Cured. Now, this one got me a little upset because on my last Dollar Tree, guys, I found this one with a slip cover, or my last couple of Dollar Trees, I found this at, you know, with a slip cover. So regardless if it's bad or good, I want it with the damn slip cover. So this one actually seemed pretty good. It, it did, it, I think it talks about uh, some kind of virus zombie outbreak or something that happened. So, I mean, Ellen Page, I think she's a great actress and she hasn't been in too many movies recently and, and the ones that she was in, they weren't that great. But, you know, I'm still rooting for her. I, I still like her a lot. So that's a horror movie right there. Also, here's one from the producers of The Witch. It's called uh, Piwa, Pi, I never, I can't pronounce that. Piwaket? Piwaket, something like that. So yeah, this one's I think is, I don't know, it's about the dark arts or something, but let me know if this one's a good one, guys. I always love horror movies. I think it's, I, yeah, IFC Midnight Release right there at the bottom. So they usually put out some good titles. Uh, my next DVD pickup is The Villainous. And this is always those revenge flicks that I really like, the kung fu ones uh, or martial arts ones. And it looks like, uh, you know, it always they always, always win a lot of awards. Uh, and this one is, uh, you know, official out of competition festival de Cannes award. So, um, it looks kind of, no, kind of cool. I mean, you get some shooting action, you get some fight scenes, you know, what's not love, love man. I'm, I'm, I'm all about that stuff. So yeah, my next and final DVD pickup is Cav, uh, Cavity, Cavity. Can't pronounce that. It's another Magnolia release, though, guys. I'm terrible pronunciation, so let me know in the comments below. Now, this one seemed really interesting. I think it's about a guy who's traveling abroad, and then he gets a disturbing phone call about, uh, you know, making some life or death consequence choices uh, to carry out like a terrorist mission. I guess someone's like kind of holding him, like, uh, like making him do things that he's not supposed to be doing, right? Or he doesn't want to do it all, and uh, you know, just handling these malicious plans for people. Uh, and it, it looked really, really entertaining. It looks extremely low budget though, if I'm being honest. So it looks like it was either filmed with like a lower camera quality or something, but this one looked pretty cool. So a dollar right there. Now that's it for my DVDs, guys. I'm gonna shift these to the side and let's go over some of the Blu-ray pickups from the Dollar Tree. Now this first one was interesting because I, I thought it was a kid's movie and it's called Power Kids and it's by Magnet. Now, don't let that friendly, you know, bunch fool you. This is a full-fledged rated R movie, guys. So, I don't know what's going on right here, but uh, I believe uh, one of the kids is diagnosed with some kind of cancer or something. They, they need some kind of transplant and uh, some, some, you know, terrorist attack happens and they have to get to the hospital to, to save their friend or something like that. So, Power Kids, I mean, it looks like a kung fu movie, but it says it's rated R for violence. So, I mean, how extreme can this be? I don't know. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below if it's pretty crazy, but it seemed really interesting. Magnet releases are always good to me. And it's always Magnet and Magnolia releases that get, um, you know, released in Dollar Trees, as well as, uh, you know, titles like this, Vertical. So, Revolt. I thought this was a video game cover at first. You guys can tell right there. Oh, let's see if we can zoom in. God, that ring light. All right. So right there, guys, uh, this looks like a video game. So just think Transformers and that's exactly kind of what it is right there. And uh, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of some Starship Troopers type of thing is what it looks like. And I mean, for a dollar, you can't go wrong with stuff like that. It's good action. Now, this one was not my pick, guys. So just letting you know off head, it's not my pick. Uh, Jason Lee, I actually met this guy. So Julia Stiles and Selma Blair. It is called Think, uh, 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 what is it called? A guy thing. <laughs> I say think like a guy for a second, but a guy thing. And this one is pretty much just like a love triangle type of movie. You guys can tell from that. Uh, he's about to get married to i believe um uh who's that who's that julia styles god dang it 
Julia Stiles' character, and then uh, at the bachelor party, he meets, uh, I think, Selma Blair, and they kind of have a fling that en ends up, you know, interrupting the whole engagement or whatnot. So it's, it's a love comedy. It's a comedy drama, I guess it is. And uh, this one right here, guys, is one that I always see the cover for, but I never take a chance on it. Another Magnolia picture. It is Frank. Let me know if you guys have seen this. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it in videos pop up. And uh, it has Maggie Gyllenhaal. That's the main reason why I wanted to see it. She's in a lot of great stuff, but it's always a lot of independent stuff. And it's pretty much about this band who, um, I know they, they're starting it with this mass Singer. It's almost like The Masked Singer, like that show, The Masked Singer. And they become uh, like, a, like a huge sensation, I believe. I thought this was Owen Wilson at first right here this guy down here but i guess it's not him it's someone else so that's that the next blu-ray pickup guys from dollar tree was uh it uh simon Pegg. who else you got in there you got luke hemsworth you have uh Teresa palmer so you get some pretty good names uh, another magnet release right there guys so it's uh, kill me three times and this was kind of like a dark comedy and i'm always about those you know like seven social what's that movie called seven psychopaths i was gonna say sociopaths seven psychopaths um so i, I believe it's in the same vein of that he's like a hitman or whatever and, and then something goes wrong or they're after him or something it's simon play simon Pegg plays the cunning assassin charlie wolf who discovers he isn't the only person trying to kill the temptress temptress so you get more you know assassins going after one person now this next one is another uh kind of romantic comedy i believe it is it's julia delpy and chris rock right there it's two days in new york um this is one that went completely under the radar for me as far as like i don't even know i i've never even heard of this ever and uh, another Magnolia release, like I said, it came out in the year 2012. And uh, I mean, it just seems like a, like a, you know, I mean, a romantic comedy is what it is. It's, he's a journalist, Chris Rock. And then um, the the girlfriend right here is, uh, is a photographer. And I think it's just kind of like them and their family's uh, interaction and stuff like that. So, you know, good, good, nice little romance comedy. Now this one right here, guys, I mentioned it earlier in the video. Uh, this girl is badass. I actually picked this one up, if you guys remember, on DVD, but I had to pick it up on Blu-ray because I just love martial arts films as much as I can. You know, another magnet release, guys. And I got to have it in the best 1080p quality right if not 4k so got that now here's another action one tomorrow's not uh tomorrow you're gone at least such generic titles right but uh you have willem dafoe you have steven uh, steven dorf uh, you also have uh michelle uh monahan who i haven't seen too much of recently uh but yeah you get her and uh i don't know what this is really even about i just grabbed it because it looked cool the cover and stuff i just love these action movies so a mysterious and beautiful lost soul who sees the good hidden beneath his tough exterior when uh, the hit goes bad. It's Charlie's life that's on the line. Okay, so it's always like a hit gone bad. And I'm guessing that Willem Dafoe is like, maybe... Okay, the way he's dressed, he's not a cop. He always puts a cop in these movies, but it looks like he might be part of this heist or hit gone wrong. So I'm all about those guys. Doing this off the cuff. I mean, I haven't really, you know, researched too much of these synopsis and whatnot. Um, compliance. This one is one that I saw a lot of people picking up on DVD, and I'm glad I didn't pick it up on DVD because I found this finally on Blu-ray. And uh, this one is inspired by true events. And uh, what is it about exactly? Uh, she receives a phone call from a police officer saying that an employee, a pretty young blonde named Becky, has stolen money from a customer, convinced she's only doing what's right. Sandra com uh, commences to, to the investigation following a step-by-step -step instruction from the officer at the other end of the line, no matter how invasive they become. So it looks like someone's trying to set her up. All right, guys, now jumping back to the love dramatic films, we have Two Lovers. Now, if this looks familiar, guys... It is because I picked this up on DVD months ago at my local Dollar Tree and I had to travel further apparently to find the Blu-ray. Now I will support anything Joaquin Phoenix is in. He is fantastic as well as you got Gwyneth Paltrow and I forget who the girl of uh, uh, Vanessa. Vanessa. It's Vanessa, not Vanessa, Vin-Nessa Shaw. That's a, I, come on, spell it Vanessa. <laughs> but you're making it all difficult for me. But another one of these movies that's a love triangle uh, type of deal. So, uh, you know, we like movies like this. So, you know, why not add it to the collection? It's $1. Now, this next one, guys, from Dollar Tree, and it's my second to last one I got from Dollar Tree, uh, was an exciting pickup for me. It was Vampire Hunter. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, I forgot to say. And this is in 3D, a Blu-ray, and a digital HD. Now, obviously, I don't have 3D. Who really 
has 3D now. I mean, if you guys do, good for you. But most of us don't have that. We have Blu-ray or 4K or DVD. So, um, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool because this was one that people used to love to talk about. That this was a like really fun, just campy movie. And uh, I hope it's gory. Uh, I mean, it's rated R. Uh, and, and it says apparently it has like really good uh, choreography from what I heard. And, uh, yeah, I'm all about it. I mean, the raunchy horror movies, why not? Now, the next one, guys, is a uh, sequel to D13. I believe it's a French movie, I want to say. I might be getting my countries mixed up on this one. But D13U. Now, it stands for D13 Ultimatum. That's what it is. Ultimatum. And uh, just like it looks like right there, you, you have just people just flying out of windows, guys. And it's a, a total parkour, you know, fest. Just in your face, another Magnet and Magnolia release. So this time they collabed on that. And uh, it looks like you got the original guys too. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see if we can focus in right there. Boom. So these guys right here, guys, are from the original. And uh, they're doing it once again. So if you guys have not seen uh, D13, um, it says David Bell and Cyril Raffaelli. So, uh, yeah, these guys are, are, are really good at what they do as far as martial arts and parkour. Definitely check that one out. I don't know what the sequel is too much uh, synopsis-wise. It just got a lot of high remarks and stuff. So I'm guessing it's the same type of thing. Now, jumping over to my 99 cent store, which is misleading pickups, guys, because these did cost, if you guys saw the sign earlier in the video, it did say $2. So unfortunately, I believe that she even charged me $2 for the DVD. So that sucks, but whatever. So the first DVD I got from that, and actually the only DVD I got from that 99 cent store was Manborg, because come on, do I, this cover alone, Manborg, that's awesome cover right there. And uh, it got high remarks on top, it says enjoyably ridiculous from Variety, and I think Variety is a reputable source. So this just seems like a video game or something on the back. I mean, let's, let's see if we can get some uh, focus in on that. Like, come on guys, like you can't go wrong with cheesiness like that, uh, Manborg. I'm going to go ham watching that one. So um, the next one is actually a real guilty, guilty pleasure of mine. It's from the Lonely Island and Judd Apatow. No one ever talks about this one. This one actually came out in theaters. I don't remember if it did good or not. So let me know in the comments below if you guys do remember. It was pop star, never stop stopping. I thought that this was such an excellent like satire parody movie from uh, Andy Samberg and the Lonely, Lonely Island Boys. I think Lonely Island... Lonely Island Boys, I guess I could call them that. The Lonely Island, <laughs> I thought uh, they did a fantastic job. And there's so many celebrity cameos. So if you guys love celebrities, they're going to be in here, okay, guys? And the next one up is um, Stefan Moyer. I don't even know who that is. Uh, it's called Evidence. Uh, murder, murder is an act. I don't know if that's the subtitle or if it's just called Evidence. But this one just seemed like a crime thriller. Uh, you know, they're just on the case of, of trying to get to a serial killer, I believe. Um, yeah, I think, uh, it's just a killer on the loose. They're just trying to solve it. And I like these crime, you know, thriller type movies, uh, you know, me and my girlfriend do. So yeah, I picked up that one once again. Uh, you know, I paid a little dollar extra than what I usually do, but that's okay. Now this one right here, can't put a price on comedy. Even if it's stupid comedy, it's Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Now I love Adam Devine. Um, not so much Zac Efron, especially when he came out with that damn DJ movie that was terrible. Uh, Aubrey Plaza's okay, as well as, um, what's her name? Anna Kendrick. Yeah, Anna Kendrick right there. I thought they were extremely goofy in this movie. They play different characters than what they usually do. Uh, Adam Devine always plays the same guy. Always plays the same guy. But that's okay. You can't put a price on comedy. There's some silly, you know, scenes in this movie. It's kind of it's just extremely dumb i remember coming in theaters and doing really bad but yeah i'm glad uh, i got it and it's a blu-ray dvd and digital hd so yeah man and uh the next one up guys is christian slater in stranded what what happened to this guy man what happened to christian slater i know he's doing a lot of these direct to dvd uh, and blu-ray releases but stranded it looks like it's um like a creature feature in space so uh, I'm really excited to see that. <laughs> uh, anything this guy is in, I'm really excited to see, you know, where his kind of career is headed. And uh, it, what year is this? 2013. It's a RLJ. So they put out a lot of these, you know, uh, direct to, to, to VOD or DVD type of titles. And uh, yeah, I mean, it comes with a couple of special features. And I like creepy space movies. It's kind of, you know, guilty pleasure of mine. Now, jumping to a disaster feature. And this was another pickup for my girlfriend, her guilty pleasure is disaster movies. Guys, Armageddon, Deep Impact, 
volcano. Uh, uh, what's there's like so many like volcano ones. What's that? Dante's Peak? She loves all that crap, even though they're bad. 2020, uh, was it 2012? 2012, she loves all that crap, but I had to get it for her, guys. Into the Storm. Now, this one looked pretty cool. I mean, you don't really get to see too many outrageous tornado movies other than like Twister. So I was like looking at this and I looked it up and this one came out in theaters. So, I mean, shoot, it passed up by me. I'm pretty sure this came out in theaters. Uh, I just, I just totally missed it. Let me know in the comments below. Was this a fun movie, guys? So only a couple bucks right there on Blu-ray. And that one only comes with the Blu-ray. Now, this is one that I never heard of and it came with a damn slip. It's called Kicks. Have you guys heard of this one? It comes with a Blu-ray and a digital copy. I just thought the artwork looked really, really cool. And that, that imagery, you know, between a spaceman just throwing some kicks to this kid right here. That was kind of, that kind of took me off guard. So then I was like, okay, let me pick this up and check out what it's about. And then I said, what? Who's that? Mahershala freaking Ali? What? <laughs> what is this? Like, oh my God. Like, what, 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 what is this? It's a universal and focused picture. Guys, have you heard of this? Kicks. Uh, I don't know what year this came out in 2000. And, uh, what is this? Does it even have a year? I can't really see right here. 2016, I think. 2016. So this one's... um. I don't really know 100%. 15-year-old Brandon longs for a pair of the freshest sneakers that money can buy uh, to help him escape the reality of being poor and picked on by everyone. Working hard to get them, he soon finds that the tit, uh, titular, I hate that word, titular shoes have instead made him a target after they are promptly snatched by a local hood. Who calls people a local? Call him a gangster. Come on. Brandon and his two best friends embark on a dangerous and exciting journey where nothing is as simple as it seems in this unique and memorable coming of age story so it seems like a like a pretty simple premise of them just you know trying to get back uh, some shoes i don't know what's going on with the spaceman because it shows them in the back so this guy's somewhere in there they must be some you know crazy sneakers but yeah guys kicks never heard of it let me know what you guys think so my next pickup and this is one that i always hear people saying you got to watch this one once again joaquin phoenix you get uh written for the screen and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. So you get a lot of people in here. You get Joaquin Phoenix, Josh Brolin, Owen Wilson, uh, Reese Witherspoon, Benicio Del Toro, Martin Short, Maya Rudolph. Do I need to say more, guys? Inherent Vice. Now, uh, Inherent Vice. I'm sorry. Inherent Vice. Now, I heard a lot of people saying that they didn't really like this movie at all. But damn, uh, with a cast like that and only a couple bucks, Blu-ray? I got to give it a chance, guys. Come on. Let me know in the comments below. I don't even know what it's about. I just saw the cover and I saw it was on Blu-ray because a few times I did see that it was on DVD only. So, yeah. I mean, let me know, guys, once again. But, geez. So, I don't even know if I could pick this up with two hands. Let's see if I could do this, guys, because uh, this is a bit much. But, like I said, I got 25 movies. And for guess how much? For guess how much? I got all these movies, guys, for $33. 25 movies for $33. And look at the bottom, how many DVDs I got. Most of them are Blu-rays. Can you believe this, guys? I know I can't. <laughs> Guys, I don't have the space for this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? But let me know in the comments below, guys, if you have seen any of these movies. And if you guys did appreciate my haul, please give me a thumbs up, guys. And make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Flix Talk as well as Twitter and Facebook at Flix Talk Podcast. Just search for me there, guys. I am always there. Flix is always spelled F-L-I-X. All right, all that's down below as well. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe and bell notification for more hauls, movie reviews, movie news, whatever it is. I talk it on this channel all the damn time. So get notified by hitting that bell. All right, guys, till next one, I'm gone. Peace.